Hi, preschoolers. Today, my dad is going to read a book to you. Um, do you remember during Farm Week, um, he showed us a video of the combine and how the combine worked, and then he took us to the hog barn and showed us all of his pigs in his pig barn. Now he's going to read you a book about an Easter story. The book is called The Easter Story. The book was written by Catherine Sully. It was a long, dark night. Jesus was in trouble. Some people said he was the king of the Jews, and King Herod didn't like it. While Jesus prayed, Peter, James, and John sat under the trees, keeping watch. But one by one, they fell asleep. Before sunrise, Jesus saw another disciple coming. It was Judas, with a crowd carrying torches and swords. Jesus woke the disciples. Hello, master, said Judas, and he kissed him on the cheek. Now the priests knew which man was Jesus. Jesus was arrested. Peter swung his sword, but Jesus told him not to fight. Peter, James, and John ran away. Jesus was taken to the chief priest. Peter had followed and was listening from a safe distance, but someone spotted him. You were with Jesus, they said. No, I wasn't, Peter answered. I don't know him. Three times Peter said that he didn't know Jesus, just as Jesus had said he would. Cock a doodle doo went a rooster, and when the rooster crowed, Peter cried because he hadn't stood up for Jesus. The priests took Jesus to Pilate, the Roman governor. Are you the king of the Jews? Pilate asked him. Jesus said nothing. Pilate asked the crowd, what has he done? He's hurt no one. But the crowd grew angry. Then Pilate said, who shall I let go? Barabbas, the murderer, or Jesus, king of the Jews? Let Barabbas go. They cried. Pilate was amazed, but he let Barabbas go. And the crowd was booing. The crowd was still booing Jesus, and the crowd made fun of Jesus as he was, as he was taken to a hill called Calvary. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Jesus was nailed to a wooden cross between two thieves. If you are the son of God, said the mean thief, why don't you save yourself? What has he done? He's hurt no one said the kind thief. At midday, the skies went dark. The darkness lasted for three hours. God, forgive them, Jesus cried. They don't know what they are doing. At that same moment, the earth rumbled, and Jesus died. 
a Roman soldier was standing guard. He really was the son of God, he said. That evening, a man called Joseph took Jesus' body to a stone tomb. He washed Jesus and dressed him in clean clothes. Then he rolled a heavy stone over the opening of the tomb. Soldiers came to guard the tomb. All this time, Jesus' friends, Mary Magdalene, and Mary from Galilee were watching. Two days later, Mary Magdalene and Mary from Galilee came back to the tomb. The soldiers were gone. The stone was rolled back and the tomb was empty. A shining angel said, don't be afraid. Jesus is alive. They ran quickly to tell the disciples, but on the way, they met Jesus. Don't be afraid, Jesus said. I will meet the disciples in Galilee. The disciples went to Galilee and waited. While they were talking, Jesus suddenly appeared. They were frightened. Why are you afraid? asked Jesus. It is me. He showed them the marks on his hands and feet from the cross. Go and tell the world what God has taught us. If we do bad things, we should be sorry. If other people do bad things, we should forgive them. Jesus led his disciples to a place near Bethany. He lifted up his hands and blessed them. Jesus left them and was taken up into heaven. The disciples went out into the world and they spread God's message just as Jesus had told them. Thanks for listening, boys and girls. I hope you all have a great Easter.